Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Alexandra Madsen and this is a Q&A video. As I posted on Instagram, I said ask me some questions because I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. It was on this post, if you can see that. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through the comments that I like and yeah, answer some of your guys' questions. Okay, first question was asked by at sticker slap shop. Who makes the best stickers? Well, hmm, I think Sticker Slap Shop does. Now, definitely Sticker Slap Shop. Go check out their stickers. Actually, hold on. Yes. No, you can see them. Yeah. And they also asked, what is my favourite kind of ice cream? My favourite kind of ice cream is cookies and cream. Definitely my favourite kind of ice cream. Next question. At JaiXX underscore dot E asked if you weren't a scooter rider, what would you be doing? Um, I'd probably be a soccer player. Because I used to be into soccer, but then I got into scootering, so I just kind of dropped soccer because scootering's better. Next question is asked by Charlie underscore Mavin. What inspired you to start scootering and doing YouTube. So the people that inspired me to start scootering, or what inspired me to start scootering was just seeing like people Jess Boland, Ryan Williams doing their sick tricks and then what inspired me to do YouTube. Um, I've always had a YouTube account, like I've had a YouTube account since I started scootering so I just thought I'd get into it. No one really inspired me, just wanted to make videos and see if people enjoyed them. Someone said please shout my channel out, 231 films. Okay. Shout out to 231 Films, go check out the YouTube. Uh, underscore Diego underscore Hen GST asked, how long have you been scooting for and when did you get sponsored? So I've been scooting for I'd say five years now. I got sponsored four years ago and that was by Crisp, or Scoot Essential, distributors of Crisp and Grit. And then three years ago I've got sponsored by Mad Gear and I've been on Mad Gear ever since. Scooter underscore Sandy asked, what is your dream trick and what is your dream car? So my dream trick would have to be a backflip drop-in just because I like the look of them and I've always wanted to learn them even though I still haven't. I'll, I'll get to it, I know I will. And my dream car would have to be a special series Holden Commodore. I'll put a picture up over here, right over there, I don't know. Next question was asked by Noah.pcm and he said, what is your favourite thing to ride at the skate park? So my favourite thing to ride at the skate park would have to be like a jump box or something, depending on what park I'm at. If there's no jump box, I would definitely go ride a quarter pipe or something and do some air tricks. Okay, next question is asked by Jay Bullock for BMXs or skaters. So with this one, I'm going to go with BMXs because a lot of skateboarders that I have met, the younger ones that have about my age, they always seem to be really arrogant and calling out scooter fag or go make me a sandwich and stuff like that. So no respect for me, so I don't have any respect for them. But in saying that, I'm not going to judge all the skateboarders by a few that ruin it for the other ones. But yeah, BMX is at the moment. Emily Gibson 86 asks, who's your favourite girl rider, starting with the letter E and last name with G? Emily, you're the only girl scooter rider that has the initials M and G. Let's not be silly. Okay. Maxi09 said, have you ever tried street? Not really. I haven't really tried to get into it. I just like ride my scooter wherever I'm riding my scooter. You know, it's, I prefer a skate park, but if I'm riding on the streets, then I suppose you could say I'm riding street. But... Nah, I don't really want to ride street that much, I just enjoy park. Abby Wells asked, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would say Barcelona, just because I've got that seawall, I think it's a seawall, and you could do quarter pipe tricks on it, like I've seen in lots of videos, like Marina Lopez's video, she did a bra flip and a triple whip on it, and it just looks really cool. 
nice and cinematic, if you know what I mean. So that's where I'd want to go. I'd definitely want to try flare that or something. Kix underscore Cullen asked, how do you feel about skate zone being demolished and what are your thoughts on the new skate park? So, okay. My thoughts on skate zone being demolished, I'm pretty gutted about it because I've been going there for five years every day after school, every day on the week, like on the weekends from 10 to five. So with it not being there, it's definitely a big change for me because I was just, so used to going there so I'm pretty disappointed that it's not there anymore my thoughts on the new skate park well the council said they were going to build a world-class skating facility like skate zone which we had I'll put a picture over here if you haven't seen it and yeah they said it's going to be better than skate zone it's going to be world-class and this is what we got over here so click the cards do you think skate zone was better or do you think the concrete park's better. Let me know. I know what I think. Ellie Simpson 1234 asked worst injury. I've had a few injuries but I'll tell you a little story to do with one of my injuries I've had. So when I was learning backflips probably about four years ago, three years ago, um, I decided, me and some friends decided it was a good idea to put a plank of wood in the foam pit and backflip to it. So I backflipped to it and everything was sweet apart from my foot had come off and it was underneath, my ankle was underneath the plank of wood so when I landed, I landed on my foot and it rolled and yeah, put all the pressure on my foot and I tore the ligaments in it. That was pretty painful, I remember that quite well. And then another one was when I backflipped a big box and over rotated to my back and moved a few plates which was painful. Flips are dangerous if you don't do them properly, just believe me. Jen Lark Dot T asked, what are your thoughts? I'm giving me a shout out. Mm, I guess I could. Shout out to T. Go have a look at his Instagram. He posts sick clips. He's got the nicest flares. So yeah, go check that out. I think he has a YouTube. I'm not sure. If he does have a YouTube, I'll put it in the description. Rohan ST man with an extra N on the end asked other than Mega Pro what pro brand would you ride for? Um neither, like none, because I've always wanted to ride for Mag Gear and now that I am, well I have been for the last three, four years, it's kind of a dream come true, so I definitely wouldn't want to change my sponsor or ride for anyone else. Amy underscore Forrester or Forster, sorry if I say that wrong. 12 asked, who is your favourite rider and goals for the future? So my favourite rider would have to be Jess Boland. She's always been my favourite rider. And goals for the future, just be one of the top female scooter riders in the world. That's my goal, pretty much. Jaden.Truman asked, where's your favourite place to ride? My favourite place to ride was Skate Zone, but I haven't got any more, so I don't really have a favourite place to ride. Just wherever there's a skate park, really. Holly I I Sash asked, have you ever got criticised for being a girl and riding a scooter? All the time. Like heaps of the time I get criticised, just, you know, get back in the kitchen, stuff like that. The usual stuff, but you know, you don't let it bother you because they're either just jealous or got some other problem that they're dealing with and they're taking out on me, so not too bothered. JXMXE2 asks, how many Mega Pro decks have you snapped? Okay, out of the probably 13, 14 decks I've had, I've only snapped one, and it was my VX3. I haven't snapped any of the Mad Gear decks, so that just shows that they are really good. Underscore Adam Huffler underscore asked, why do you like to ride scooters? So, pretty much just like riding scooters because um, it's what, you know, I've made friends around and learning tricks and the feeling of progression is a really good feeling so yeah I just do it because I enjoy it and meet heaps of new people Jack underscore Barnes asked what is your favourite trick? so my favourite trick would either have to be a kickless or a flare I can't decide between those two so that's all of the questions that I've got for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel I think it's over there or over there I have no idea where it is you tell me so yeah, make sure you subscribe and comment down below more videos you want to see, comment what tutorials you want to see, um, do you want to see different types of videos, like 
that adventures one I made where I pretty much just took me and my scooter and my camera and filmed a few things. Just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.